Good morning, Twin Flame, Twin Soul, Soulmates, Veda Connections. This is Brainy Twin Gemini for February 19th, 2020. First and foremost, I want to thank you all so much for the love, the likes, the subs, the sense of community on our channel. It really warms my heart, and I want to thank you all so, so much, and I love you all so, so much. As many of you know, I'm a messenger on this perplexing journey, this twin flame, twin soul, soulmate, faded connection, whatever, however, you know, the um, journey resonates with you, whatever terminology you use. And every day I'm given um, signs and saints, and I believe these messages are messages that I need to deliver to you. So um, in the last 24 to 48 hours, there's been some crazy energy, and today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to actually um, interchange between um, divine masculine and divine feminine energy, if that makes any sense with you. And the reason being is I, I feel this need. Um, I've been pushed into it. And I feel like so there's some divine masculines out there that are awakening, awakening to this, have already been awakened to this. And sometimes they just need to know what the divine feminine energy is and what the divine feminine is thinking. Um, so I'm going to interchange. I usually do anyway, but I'm just, I'm kind of putting that out there. Um, just, you know, just in case there's some divine masculines that are curious. So I will interchange I, with the cards today, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Again, just a messenger here. Um, yeah, so there's been some crazy stuff going on in the tw last 24 to 48 hours. Again, I get pushed into these, um, these messages. Um, I endeavored or embarked on this journey, I believe I started in September really with um, this YouTube channel. And primarily I was pushed into this. And I was pushed into it primarily because I needed to debunk some of the dishonesty out there as it relates to this journey. And that will, like, I'm just going to go over the signs and the things right now. Um, but this kind of is one of the things that... Um, you know, one of the signs and the things that I had over the last 24 hours and, and just know I'm divinely guided by this. Once I get this pen in my hand and I'm, it's pen to paper, um, all these messages come to me. A lot of them come to me as soon as I wake up in the morning and I've been re like, when I wake up, I speak, I'm speaking, believe it or not, I'm talking. And the two words that I had this morning was, um, faith and belief. And there's been a lot of doubt, there's been a lot of confusion, there's been a lot of anger, and there's been a lot of frustration. And it's been very, very, very prevalent in the last 24 to 48 hours. And I'm not sure if that's Mercury retrograde, but one of the other signs that I had that I think is very, very important, and I know this stuff sounds strange, and I don't know why it happens. I'm just strictly a messenger here on this journey. I'm here to guide you. You know, if you're truly on this journey, I'm here to guide you and help you navigate through the journey with poise. But, you know, I had, for the last 24 hours, I had really itchy ears again. And I don't know what it was about. So when I was in the bath, I was laying there and I was thinking about like, you know, why are my ears so itchy? Like it, it, it was beyond like insanity, how itchy they were. And when I was in the bath meditating, this message came to me. And the message came to me was, um, be careful who you listen to, hence the itchy ears. Um, and, you know, and this could include, um, it can include friends and family. Um, and not everybody understands this journey. It's a very perplexing journey. Only you can understand, only you understand the journey that comes within yourself. But another thing is with, with the ears here is in, in listening and that includes yourself you know um there's you know you're you've there's some confusion and there's some doubt and um you know it's this is meant to come from the heart not from the head this journey and sometimes those toxic thoughts come from the head and not from a, a true place of the heart and that's why i think you know my ears were itchy is to be careful who you listen to um, as it relates to family, friends, and most of all, as it relates to yourself. Always come from a place of a pure heart. You know what's in your heart. It can never be taken away. So just be careful of your thoughts and, um, you know, primarily including yourself as, you know, when, what you're listening to. Just trust, trust, trust your heart. Um, and, and lastly, the ears, um, you know, I'm thinking that a lot of you, um, your third eye is opening up. There was a terrible flu, a terrible ascension flu. And that's your chakras going up and waking you up. 
And part of that is clearing out the garbage. And it makes you sick, believe it or not. You're, you're getting rid of toxic, toxic elements within yourself. But the third eye is located in the center of the forehead. It governs the pituitary gland, the lower brain, nervous system, the ears, nose, eyes. It's how we see things both physically and intuitively. When developed, it improves our intuitive abilities, helps us to see clearly the big picture. So again, I'm resonating it with the ears today. Um, just be careful who you listen to. Trust your gut. Always follow your intuition. It's a perplexing journey. It's not easy. And many of you will, you know, get to a certain point of the journey and then you just wash your hands of it and you walk away. You do what's best for you. It's not an easy journey. But I'm here as a messenger to help you navigate through this journey. Tough, tough journey. As I always say, not a Cinderella story. So that's as it relates to the ears. Um, got so much going on here. I wrote so much down today. Um, the number sequencing, 1010, 111, 333, 1111. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I said there's been, there's some been anger, confusion, um, frustration, um, faith and belief. That's what I woke up speaking this morning, believe it or not. Just have faith and belief in, in the divine God, whomever you believe in, and most of all yourself. Have faith in your, and believe in yourself. That's what this journey is about. It's about getting to your complete wholeness within and, and getting to your higher senses and getting to the best version of you. And there's been some distance between the twins. And I believe that's just because you've been healing. This ascension flu has been tough for some of you. And it's your healing. And naturally, if you're healing, you're going to keep the distance. That's what this journey is about. You go into separation to heal. But you're healing. There's been a lot of healing going on. So there's distance there. And um, let me see what else here. These are just points. I mean, I have so much more. Um, I flip I flip the cards strictly out of my own entertainment. They always resonate with my journal. Um, there's one song um, that I was listening to, not on the radio, but I have it saved in my favorites, and it's um, Brian Adams. Everything I do, I do it for you, and I'll put that in. I have a music playlist. I'll put that in my music playlist, and then yeah. So I think that's everything that I wanted to go through the points and. Um, both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, like I said today, this is, oh, and I saw the doves. Um, both of you are communicating through music today, um, so listen to the music and the doves, um, all good things, but I, you know, I see these doves, and the doves were kind of significant yesterday, and there's some tests going on in this journey right now between both twins. Um, you are undergoing some huge tests, and I think these tests come in to test your love for each other and see if you can still remain strong and stay in that state of unconditional love. But there's def definitely some tests that's coming um, your way and and I think that primarily has to stem around your thoughts, you know, and you know, that's a test. You have to overcome these hurdles in, in this journey. And you know, many of you are like, you know, screw this, this is not real, This is, what do whatever's good for you. But you come into each other for, a, you know, into each other's lives for a reason, and that's to awaken and to ascend. But there's definitely some tests going on with this journey right now. And they get thrown at you in different forms, and and it, it, it definitely is. And I was, I, like I said, I'm a messenger here, so I'm driving home from work yesterday, and I'm like, what is with all these tests? Like, you know, like, I feel like I'm not failing these tests. I don't care whatever you throw at me, whatever. And as soon as I uttered those words out loud, a flock of doves flew past my car. And to me, that's confirmation. It's confirmation to me to say that, you know what? Yeah, there are tests and there's going to be tests thrown at you. And it, it's it, whether you can endeavor those tests or not, you know? And yeah, and as sure as shit, as those words came out of my mouth, those doves flew past my car. And I'm like, yep, that's it. So there's a lot of tests going on right now with this journey between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So just stay strong. Like I said, be careful who you listen to. Listen to your heart and not to your head. Because the heart always wins, believe it or not. Once you get into that state of unconditional love, you know, and that's loving freely without condition, it always, always wins. But the head 
and your ego will fight you right down to the ground. So that's what I have. <laughs> Some pretty tough messages. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm just going to flip the cards today. Um, I'm not going to say who the message is for until the cards come out because I've just been encouraged that both twins need to hear messages from each other today. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll know when the cards come because I write everything down in my journal. And I'm going to call out to my guardian angels. I use four cards um, primarily because four is my birth number. And, and as many of you know, if you're new or if you're <laughs> whatever, it always resonates with my journal. But it's been some pretty tough energy um, in the last several days. And, you know, just come from a place of the heart always. And just believe and have faith in yourself. That was the message I was speaking this morning. So I'm going to call out for three cards, please. Too many. And if the messages don't come out, of course, I will elaborate. I cannot. All right. I, like this, th this stuff never, ever, ever, ever ceases to amaze me. <laughs> okay. Um, so third party, what I resonate with this third party card is exactly that. Be careful who you listen to. Be careful who you trust. Not everyone understands this journey. They, you know, at the end of the day, everybody wants what's best for you. People that love you wants what, want what's best for you. But if they don't understand the journey and the complexities and the love, the vulnerability, you know, the sacred, sacred blessing, this gift, you know, they can put negative um, intentions out into the universe. They're not doing it purposely. They want the best for you. So there are some third party distractions right now. And that's primarily what I'm going to say is your own self. You're your own third party <laughs> distraction right now because of your thoughts. And again, if this resonates great, if it doesn't, please do not leave comments on the channel and disrupt the vibe of the channel. If you have thoughts for me specifically or feedback, send me an email. Please just say, please don't say it resonates because not everything is going to resonate with you with everything that I say. I'm a messenger here. I get these messages. But right now, the third party is you. <laughs> um, and that's why my ears were itchy and everything else. Be careful who you listen to, primarily yourself. You know, be careful of your thoughts. Self-worth, absolutely have that. Absolutely have it in my journal. I might even read it um, just for the wow factor because I can't cheat this even if I try. But um, many of the twins that come in, in, into each other, they have self-worth issues. And that primarily stems from childhood. Um, there's certain things that happen in your life that compromise your self-worth, your confidence. And when you come into each other, you, um, you know, you, you both do have self-worth issues, but you come in and to heal those issues or to come in and to heal that self-worth. And some of the, you know, some of the twins, um, they run because they just don't feel they're good enough and they can't give each other what they feel they deserve. And that's the self-worth. And that's primarily why many twins go into separation. It's to heal that self-worth. You know, you could be in um, a loveless marriage or, you know, in toxic relationships. And that is because of the self-worth. You know, self-worth is such a very, very powerful thing. And it makes us do things in life that, you know, aren't right. But, and you, you have to have like a value, a value for yourself. And once you value yourself, you know, it's one of the most sacred things you can have, but not having it is toxic and you just make poor decisions and you lack confidence. And that all has to do with your self-worth. And I absolutely put that in. And, um, what I will say also for many of you, again, what resonates, resonates, what doesn't, doesn't both twins, when they came in into each other, they viewed each other as the most beautiful beings. And they, they helped each other with their self-worth. And that's exactly what this is meant to do. Um, you know, you, when you were together, you were just, I don't know, you were just, you fit together like a glove, I guess, is the best way. The chemistry, everything was there. And you gave each other a value of your worth. 
that nobody else has been able to do. And um, what I'm going to say to the Divine Masculine, and this is from the Divine Feminine, thank you very, very much. So that's <laughs> what I have there. Um, dreams, yes, there's been dreams going on. Um, a lot of them are, you know that you've had dreams, but you can't remember. Um, I've been having dreams about babies for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Um, I, <laughs> I love babies, but um, I, I've been having dr dreams about babies for the last several days, holding babies. Um, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm a mother, but um, yeah, I've, I've been having dreams about babies. But you may be having dreams about um, the Divine Masculine, or the Divine Masculine may be having dreams about the Divine Feminine. Some of you may be having dreams that you can't remember as well, but you get up and you're like, I feel like I've dreamt about my divine masculine or my divine feminine, but I can't quite remember what it's about, you know, as the day evolves or whatever, those dreams may come to you, but there definitely has been some dreaming going on. And there's been like, you know, I know this sounds strange sometimes, and I just get these messages as I, as I go throughout the video, some of them just seem so vivid and so real. And so that forgiveness, um, both, you know, this is a tough endeavor. You, the twins, you know, as they, sometimes when they go through this journey, they, like I said, there's some confusion, there's some doubt, um, there's some anger, there's some frustration. Um, and naturally you blame the twin, but you know, for all of this, it's like, well, you, you know, look at what I'm, what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. it's, you have to learn how to forgive unconditionally this is a gift this is a blessing and you have to get to unconditional love and unconditional forgiveness you have to forgive yourself because if you if you can't forgive yourself you can't give forgiveness forgiveness to other people and i love it i love it so much pretty tough messages but again totally resonates with my journal <laughs> i can't um And as it relates to the forgiveness, um, as well, that was another message I have in my journal. Um, both of you forgive each other, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, neither twin um, meant to hurt each other in this journey. Th things evolve the way they're meant to evolve. And, you know, both twins forgive each other if for whatever reason, if there was, you know, un unintentional hurt, um, you know, when you, when you endeavor this journey, you're kind of neurotic because you don't understand what's going on. You don't understand this love. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do what uh, messages to each other. How does that sound? <laughs> and again, I'll know when the cards fall out. <laughs> what, who's meant for what? So I'm going to call out to my guardian angels for four cards. Too many. Four cards, please. Uh. Two cards, please. Too many. Sorry, folks. This keeps coming out. <laughs> There's a reason. Sorry. One card, please, guardian angels. Whew. Probably because it's going to be a good message. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. <laughs> and this is exactly it. I cannot believe the way this works. Okay. Free will. Free will, free will, free will, free will. We all have free will. That's, we have free will to do with whatever we please. And um, when you endeavor this journey, you're given signs, you're given sayings. You're, you, there's a whole whack of things that go along with this journey. But at the end of the day, you have free will to do whatever whatever you want. And some, you know, even, even you know, if some of the tw twins get slapped in the face of what this really is, at the end of the day, you, you, you both have free will, you know, if you, if, if you want to ignore the signs and you want to ignore the things 
and you, that's the free will coming in, you know, and doing whatever the free will wants to do. We live in a 3D world. That's where we live. And we all have free will. And what you, what each other, what each other, what you have to realize is you do have free will. And it, it's, you know, it is what it is. And you have to respect the fact that we have free will. And I love it. I love it so much. And, you know, one other message that I have is there's been in the last week, um, this free will, there has been some, 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 um, very powerful messages from the divine God, whomever you believe in very ma powerful messages, but the twins, some of the twins are not listening to these messages. And again, that's their free will, their free will to do whatever they please, you know? So yeah, intuition, that's that third eye opening up. Your power of intuition, your gifts, they're opening up, they're amplifying, and um, again, listening. Be careful who you listen to. L you know, but what's that old, you know, believe uh, none of what you see or half of what you see, none of what you hear. It kind of be that, that way. Always trust you. Your intuition is always right. It's, it's far greater than what anyone else can say to you. You know, if someone says, no, this isn't your journey, go deep within. And if you, if this is your journey, this is your journey. No one, absolutely no one can tell you but you. And I love it. I love it so much. This card has been coming out every single time I've been doing these videos. And the reason why it's coming out is because this is what's happening. This ascension flu, this, this activation, these chakras. So, you know, we're, we're right up here right now. And for many of you, it's the, th the third eye opening up. Hence, you know, the, some of the symptoms. I get these symptoms specifically as messages. Like my, my, um, my ears are not itchy anymore. <laughs> I wish I didn't get these symptoms sometimes, but I believe these symptoms are like signs for you. Um, and especially, I really wasn't happy with that ascension flu last week, but many of you are getting up there. This has opened up the throat, the throat chakra. You know, and th this is great. And I'm going to, and as part of this um, clearing, I call it clearing, believe it or not, as part of these chakras open up, there's certain clearing, there's certain karma clearing that you might not even know exists. You know, is, is it fun? Absolutely not. But you are healing and I love it. Exactly what I was saying earlier, unconditional love. This is what this journey is about. It's unconditional, loving freely without condition. And there has been some tough energy in the last several days. Even right now, I'm feeling this, this, this tough energy. But you have to get to a place of pure love in your heart. And there's tests, like I said. And that's primarily your ego testing you. And you have to come from a place of pure love. And once you get to that unconditional love, you're in a dimension that is so beautiful. Not, your ego can't win. It just can't. So get to that place of unconditional love. Get back there. You know, and I think some of you are, I, I, I'm wondering if it's Mercury retrograde because there's a lot of doubt and a lot of confusion. And I don't just wake up with, you know, saying faith and belief. You know, so I, I feel like some of you are losing the faith and you just have to believe in you. So I'm going to do what the overall energy is as of now. As you know, we live in the now. We don't live in the past. We don't live in the future. <clears throat> and you guys are all amazing. You know, you're so amazing. You're doing incredible. You are doing the work. And I just, I just love you all so much. You, you know, I love the way you support each other. It's phenomenal. And that's a place of love. So keep doing it. I'm going to call out to my guardian angels for four cards, please. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm so freaking happy about it. Okay. I'm always happy. 
I'm blissful. I have harmony. That's what you get to. You get to complete bliss here. Offer. Um, now, what I resonate with this card is there's an offer coming um, for many of you. Many of you that have, have endeavored the journey. And the offer comes in many different varying forms. And I'm primarily thinking um, the offer is within you. And I love it. I love it so much. Um, there is, I get emails every single day. There's an offer coming for many of you. It could be in the offer of communication. It could be the offer of a, a cook, ah, sorry, a commitment, a long-term commitment, love, truths, whatever it may be, but it is absolutely coming. All right. My son is home, Mr. Stompy. <laughs> All right. Um, daydreaming absolutely resonates with the, uh, with the dream, dream card. There's a lot of daydreaming going on. Um, what I specifically wrote in my journal today, um, we are going to conquer the world together. This is a mission, a mission of love to spread goodwill and love. And you've been summoned on one of the most blessed gifts of a lifetime, but there's work to be done, but there's a lot of daydreaming, a lot of daydreaming of each other going on. And I love it. I love it so much. Dreaming of each other's beauty. <laughs> um, Self-love. I love this card. I love it so much. Exactly what this journey is about. Self-worth and self-love. I can't unconditional. Love. I cannot believe all these cards the way they fell out. And again, everything resonates with my journal. But, you know, it's, it's a journey of self-worth, self-love, unconditional love, um, awakening. That awakening card came out. Um, getting to your higher senses, this is phenomenal, and I love it, and you are doing it, you're getting to a place of self-love, and self-love can never, ever be taken away, once you get to that place, it can never be taken away, the only person that can take it away is you, and for many of you that have been following me since September, this card has never hardly come out, I think if this is the, maybe the third time it's come out, and I love it. I love it so much. And the reason I love this card is because I said this is like a divine masculine and a divine feminine reading today. I'm not specifying um, this at all. And exactly what I wrote down today. This is your journey. And the only person or P is that you will tell you that is you. You will know. You will absolutely know if this is your journey. But this is absolutely your twin flame. And I love it. I love it so much. I love this card. Like I've done like 80 videos <laughs> and this card's never come out. But I wrote it down saying this is actually your journey. You know, and only you will know if it's your journey. Because you will get all the wisdom, all the knowledge, and all the guidance. You will get it. So I love it. I love it so much. I just love it. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to just do four general messages again. Um, I'm going to call it to my guardian angels. I'll know when the cards slip. I cannot believe that card. Like I feel like I should read my journal. But it takes me so long to scan through it. Um, and I don't like want the, the dead space. But everything. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call out for four cards, please. Four cards, please. Okay. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> This stuff can't be cheated. <laughs> this is my own entertainment, I swear. I don't know how this happens, to be quite honest. I don't know how these... There's so many cards. And I specifically wrote all this stuff down. I don't... The messages come to me, right? So... Uh-huh. Okie dokie. 
so both I love you to the moon and back this is a journey this is a journey of love unconditional love it is the purest rawest vulnerable love two people can share in a lifetime you have to remember it's a gift I know sometimes it's it doesn't seem that way because as I said there's tests you know it's a journey of oneself but don't kid yourself for one minute that you don't love each other right if you do what is required the you know the journey will endeavor the way it's meant to you know unfold I guess and you will get the guidance you will get the wisdom you will get the knowledge and I think that's why I'm here I'm here to guide you um, we are mirroring each other exactly that um, like I said there's been some tough energy going back and forth in the last couple of days um, not sure where it's stemming from it's part of the journey <laughs> and it's a test it's you're always getting thrown these tests to see if you can overcome these tests and stay at a true point of unconditional love but some of you are mirroring some pretty bad energy right now but I can just say just come from a place of the heart exactly 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 um, some people are frustrated some are angry they hate that they love you um, because they can't suppress this love. It's confusing. It's daunting. It's challenging. And, you know, it, it keeps, it always rises to the heart. But just keep it in your heart and keep it out of the head. Right? Exactly. I'm asking for some time to get myself together first. This is a journey about healing. We all heal at different rates. You don't just wake up one day and say, hallelujah, I'm healed. Just when you think you're healed, something else comes to the surface. So um, I'm feeling like that's the divine masculine saying that to the divine feminine right now, um, that they need some more time to heal and to get their stuff together first. You know, what this divine masculine wants for his princess is heaven. So they are building a foundation and a beautiful life. And they need time. So just be patient, please. I love it. I love it so much. I just love everything. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do these animal spirit cards. Divine Feminine, always first. These are very difficult to work with. So if one falls out, I'll take it. If one falls face up, I'll take it. And I'm going to call it to my guardian angels for divine feminine animal spirit please nope <laughs> One. oh moths oh those I no 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 I scream when I see moths <laughs> Like, really run and scream. I don't like them. I'm sure they serve their purpose, but I don't want them getting in my hair. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to call out for uh, um, Divine Masculine Animal Spirit. I'm serious, I do not like them. <laughs> One card fell out for each. <laughs> um, moth spirit surrender now. It's number 39. 12, if that means anything to you. 39 is 12. Hmm. I'm sure it's a beautiful, beautiful message. Moth Spirit, surrender now. Moth Spirit asks, what is, what is guiding you right now? Are you in alignment with Spirit or pursuing something or someone with so much tenacity that it has become a compulsion or addiction? Are you intoxicated by a potential relationship or opportunity that you can't think straight? Hard work and dedication are virtues and love, of course, is a beautiful thing. However, when Moth Spirit appears, it is time to consider if you've gone over the edge in a relentless pursuit. 
workala- workaholism, overeating, perfectionism, or addiction to certain to certainty or even to a person may be your current vice. The form of your addiction does not matter so much as awareness of the consequences of remaining um, persistent with moder- moderation is when moderation is needed. Let go of your excessive energy by channeling it in a more more than one direction. The fire burns hot and you do not want to be engulfed by your passion to the exclusion of all other pursuits that matter to you. Now is the time for surrender and radical acceptance so that drive so that your drive does not um, flee to flee to or to fight. Spirit wants you to release your need for certainty and control so that um, sorry, so that you can relax into a more balanced way of using your moth spirit energy. Banish the shoulds and musts so that you can enjoy what is and allow for what might be. I love it. I love it so much. Exactly what it says. Um, you know, just surrender. I always say that. Just surrender it over. I absolutely wrote that down. You know, you just have to let it be. Whatever's meant to be will be. You can't control it. It's it's not yours to control. You were brought to each other for a reason. Primarily heal, self-love, self-worth, unconditional love. But you can't control the outcome. And you truly just have to let um, whatever's meant to be will be. You know, if you came together for a reason, there's a very good reason for it. But you can't control this at all. Um, and I love it. I love it so much. Frog spirit. Clear the clutter. Number 28. Um, sorry. It says clear the clutter. Frog spirit knows that while all other frogs are croaking away, this is a time for you to simplify and declutter your life so that you can feel content on your own lily pad. Even when life isn't creating a total um, peace, we can come drawn to excitement of lots of noise. Then the next thing we know, our schedules, our homes, are cl- are cluttered with commitments we regret making and objects taking up valuable space even relationships need decluttering as they often become messy frog spirit appears to tell you to clean house prioritize what you need and get rid of or give away the rest so that you can have some space in your day and in your head you don't need to you don't need the old stuff in its stories shouting at shouting at you about the past along with physical clutter Friendships are sometimes kept long past their expiration date, weighing you down with unnecessary baggage. Now is the time to let go. Whatever you need will appear when you need to, when you need it. So release your grip on all the clutter that is making you feel anxious and burdened. Frog Spirit wants you to reclaim your space, unencumbered by shoulds, oughts, and coulds, have beens. Let go and jump. You are free from all that old stuff. I love it. And, and you, there are so many similarities there. Um, between both it's like let go be free you know and exactly what I said be careful who you listen to you know your friends and family you know they some of them are not serving you um, to the you know to they're just not so just look at your life holistically always do everything in a healthy way you know if there's people that aren't serving you just tell them you're you know you need a break and you know you just need some time to your help yourself and if they're truly your friend, they'll understand. Okay, so I love it. I love it so much. And then lastly, I'm going to give you these love, 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 love messages for the day. Night, morning, <laughs> evening, wherever you may be. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> to my guardian angels for one card please hmm. oh <laughs> one card please thank you usually when I say please I always get my way always need your manners oh. <laughs> okay here's the, the front here is the back so I will read it to you and it says your life your love life will transform when you learn to truly love yourself just as you are 
You are perfect just the way you are. Accept this and you will be amazed by the changes it brings to your life. I love this. I love it so much. Basically, self-love, self-worth, everything that came out earlier. Accept this and you will be amazed by the changes it brings to your life. Your love life will transform. Um, but you have to love you for who you are. And you are perfect just the way you are. Again, I want to thank you all so much for the love, the likes, the subs. It really means the world to me. And I love you all so much. And I wish you a fabulous day, folks.